Hi everybody, Stu, AG6AG. We're going to show you how to set up real-time uh, QRZ and HamQTH lookups on the uh, log for uh, old men program today. Uh, and uh, this is a real quick one. I think it's under 10 minutes, so I hope you enjoy it. And oh, by the way, don't forget to subscribe and click the like button. Hey everybody, Stu, AG6AG. Today we're going to set up real-time QSO lookups inside Log for All Men. Now, we're going to use two services, QRZ and HamQTH, to do these lookups. So, really quick, this is really easy, we're going to go to Settings, Program Configuration, and I'm going to look down here for Info Providers. When I click on that, it gives me a screen where I can enter up to four different Info Providers. Now, it's only going to use two of them. So, um, you know, you really only need two. I prefer QRZ as my primary. QRZ uh, charges me a little money because I'm a paid member. Uh, I did that for a couple different reasons. I use it a lot for a lot of stuff. I've got a copy of my log on there, which will show you how to get that done as well. Um, but I also, uh, you know, do hundreds and hundreds of lookups on it. And a lot of times I'll do over 100 a day. So in order to get over 100 lookups a day from uh, QRZ, you have to subscribe to their service. Anyway, I'll put in my login information. And we'll see if it works. Hey, I got it right. See the little check mark? And then uh, for HamQTH, we're going to do that as the fail-safe, and I need to do the same thing. And we'll check and see, and that one worked too. So let's take a look at how this actually works. I'm going to hit Save and Apply. And let's go ahead, and I'll pick a band here because my radio is turned off. Uh, and I'll go ahead, let's put me in, AG6AG, and boom, all of a sudden it's going to do a data lookup and look at that. It shows where I am in the country. It shows what the uh, distance would be normally. It shows me right there as a picture when I've worked, and worked myself and all that good stuff. It shows me uh, all that stuff, which is great. Uh, I can clear this. And let's put in somebody else. Uh, let's put in Keith, W6KME, good buddy of mine. And there he is, right there. And look at that. He's just a short hop, skip, and a jump from me. Shows distance over here for uh, uh, the long path as well. So, hey, you know, what can I say? It gives me his distance in miles, which is really cool. Uh, all those calculations take place automatically. And uh, let me show you a couple more small things on this that we can set, make our life a little easier and make this a little bit more usable. We're going to go to program configuration again. We're going to go way up to the top here to program settings. I happen to like my distance units in miles. This is where you set that. Um, and uh, I have this check for updates and I send statistics about uh, uh, my... Uh, uh, about what's going on with my uh, my uh, program so they can get a better idea in the development team when I'm having problems. Um, let's see, what else would I want to show you? Let's go back to those info providers and we can click over here and all this stuff can be left as default, but this also gives you real-time login, historic QSOs, all sorts of other information uh, of stuff that may not necessarily be in the database. So uh, I leave these set to defaults. Your mileage may vary. Check them and do what you want with them. Also, for web external source, I use my primary source, which is qrz.com, but I could choose any of these three uh, as my web-based lookup. Now, what the web-based lookup is, maybe I should explain that a little better. Um, let's put in uh, Keith. 
So there's Keith. He's going to pop up and populate right here everything about Keith. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. Oop, see how I am? i got to define a band here. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And it's going to go ahead and file all that stuff in my QSOs right here. Tells me all the information it did the lookup on on QRZ. Now, let's say I want to look him up and see his web page. I can just click on look up with a right hand mouse click and it's going to launch my web browser and it's going to go right to Keith's Q, uh, uh, QRZ page. So I can read all about Keith and all that fun stuff. Boy, how'd you like to have a shack like that, huh? Anyway, so let me go ahead and uh, close this. And I think that'll do it for today. Um, next video, I will show you how to set up to do automatic uploads to Logbook of the World, QRZ, and some of the other online logging services. So uh, I hope you look forward to that, and I look forward to showing you. Have yourself a great day in 73. Told you it was going to be fast. Well, there you go. I can't wait till we do the next one. It's going to take a little longer, but I think uh, you, with the addition of the automatic uploads, you're really going to enjoy the Log for Old Man program. Anyway, with that, hey, if you haven't, go ahead and subscribe. If you like the video, click the thumbs up. And not only that, if you have any questions or if any comments or if I left something out, Please go ahead and make those down in the comment section. I do read them and I do respond. So, uh, And that's also how other people can get information that I missed and didn't give. So with that, 73, hope to hear you on the air.